The Canadian government made a pivotal announcement. It has awarded Irving Shipbuilding Incorporated ISI, a substantial contract to construct new river-class destroyers for the Royal Canadian Navy, RCN. This initiative is part of Canada's ongoing defense strategy, Our North Strong and Free, ONSAF, which aims to fortify the nation's naval capabilities. As part of a broader effort to modernize its military fleet, Canada is investing significantly in cutting-edge naval assets to ensure operational readiness for decades to come, while also bolstering its domestic shipbuilding sector. The new river-class destroyers, designed with advanced technology derived from the British Type 26 warship, will serve multiple purposes, including anti-submarine warfare, ASW, and extended air defense. These state-of-the-art vessels will be critical in addressing a variety of threats in the maritime domain and will ensure Canada's ability to maintain control over its vast oceanic territories. The contract, initially valued at 8 billion Canadian dollars, will kick off the construction of the first three ships, with the total program cost for these destroyers expected to rise to 22.2 billion Canadian dollars. These funds will cover not only the shipbuilding process but also the necessary equipment, systems and weapons including cutting-edge radar and advanced combat systems. The river-class destroyers will be named after three iconic Canadian waterways, representing the Pacific, Atlantic and Arctic Oceans. HMCS Fraser, HMCS St. Laurent, and HMCS Mackenzie. One of the standout features of these new ships will be their versatility. Equipped with an array of powerful systems, including the an spy 7 radar, the Aegis combat system, and a variety of missile systems such as SM-2 Block IIC for air defense and naval strike missiles for anti-ship capabilities, the river-class destroyers will be formidable assets. Their anti-submarine warfare capabilities will also be enhanced with towed sonar systems and hull-mounted sonar for deep-water operations. The river-class destroyers are intended to replace the aging Iroquois-class destroyers and the Halifax-class frigates. Their modular design will allow for future upgrades and the integration of emerging technologies, ensuring they remain relevant as operational requirements evolve. These ships will be equipped to carry out a wide array of missions, from traditional naval combat to counter-piracy and maritime security operations, all while providing vital support in humanitarian missions when necessary. Although the total cost of the river-class program is estimated to be between 31 billion Canadian dollars and 43 billion Canadian dollars, this investment will provide Canada with a modern fleet capable of responding to both global and regional challenges. The first ship, HMCS Fraser, is expected to enter service in the 2030s, marking a major milestone in Canada's defense modernization efforts. Aside from its military significance, the river-class destroyer program will have substantial economic benefits for Canada. The National Shipbuilding Strategy, NSS, aims to stimulate the domestic shipbuilding industry, creating thousands of jobs and generating billions in economic output. Irving Shipbuilding Incorporated, based in Halifax, has already received 871.7 million Canadian dollars to modernize its facilities, which will allow the company to meet the production demands for these advanced vessels. Between 2025 and 2039, the program is expected to contribute 719.3 million Canadian dollars annually to Canada's GDP and support approximately 5,250 jobs each year. In line with its commitment to supporting local industry, the Canadian government has applied its Industrial and Technological Benefits ITB, policy to this project, ensuring that contractors reinvest funds into the Canadian economy. These reinvestments will focus on advancing technological innovation, improving workforce skills, and expanding industrial capabilities across the country. This contract not only boosts Canada's naval power but also contributes to meeting its defense obligations. As part of its commitment to NATO, Canada is working to ensure that its defense spending reaches 2% of GDP, with a significant portion allocated to major military equipment programs like the river-class destroyers. This will enable Canada to strengthen its defense posture while ensuring that it can effectively cooperate with its international allies in global security efforts. With the river-class destroyers set to revolutionize the RCN's capabilities, Canada is taking a crucial step toward securing its maritime borders and reinforcing its position in the global defense arena. These investments will help safeguard the country's sovereignty, enhance its military readiness and foster economic growth, ensuring that Canada remains strong and resilient for generations to come.